Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to turn on the time lapse video on the Bamboo X1C. When I first got my printer, I was so excited, I just printed a ton of stuff. And about a week later, I went back to try to watch the time lapse videos. And I was like, no, it didn't record any of them. I was so bummed and so figured out all the steps to turn it on. And I'll show them to you now. So first off, I purchased a 128 megabyte micro SD card from Amazon Basics. It was only 12 bucks. And side note, the printer can only use up to 85% of an SD's memory card for video storage. And after that, any other new videos that you film, it'll flush out the old videos. So if you want to keep them all, make sure you get a large enough card. All right, so step one, you want to insert the SD card on the side of the printer display. Push it in till you hear and feel like a click. I put it in backwards the first time and it didn't work. I could tell because it didn't have that like that smooth click feeling. Step two, you have to format the card. Don't worry, it's super easy. You just go to settings, general, then click format. Once the format's done, click close. So step three, turn on the video recording function and choose the video resolution that you want. You can pick either 720p or 1080p. I'm going to pick 1080p. So we're done with that part. Now you want to move back onto your computer and open Bamboo Studio. Step four, you go to process global other and scroll all the way down to special mode and you'll see time lapse under that. So for now, we're just going to stick with traditional. Step five, now you slice your file and once that's finished, just click print plate. And step six is in the middle of the screen, there's a window that opens up. Just make sure time lapse is on, then send to print. Once the print's finished, under device, click on storage and you'll see the video. You can download it. And that's it. You're on your way to pro status. Oh, and I have a pro tip because this happened to me and it took me a while to solve this. If you take the SD card out of the side of the printer display, the printer will have a really hard time recognizing it again. And uh, I spun my wheels trying to solve this. You actually have to pull out the electrical plug of the printer out of the wall socket and it forces it to do like a, a hard restart and that's the only way that printer itself will recognize the card again hope that helps save time down the road and don't worry you can thank me later